In today's video, I challenged myself to work out every single day for seven days straight. Wanted to see if I could stay consistent and see how I feel at the end of the week. So watch until the end for my final thoughts. Hi you guys! So we're getting started with day one. We're playing tennis for our first day of the seven day workout challenge. I've been obsessed with playing tennis lately. It's been such an easy way to stay active and have fun. And what makes it so fun is getting dressed in my favorite tennis outfits, taking my pre-workout, hanging out with family. And as you play for longer, the better you get. So we always end up playing for around two hours. It's great because we get a good sweat, burn around 600 to 900 calories depending on the weather. And feel so good afterwards. So if you guys have a tennis court near you, I highly recommend finding a friend and using it to play if you're looking for a workout that's not the gym. I know I haven't really said much and I know my hair is very different, but I was in a rush. I was late to the event today, but I went to a cardio tennis event. The Black Girl Tennis Club hosted it. It was so fun. It was just an hour and 30 minutes. And you know, I typically play tennis for like two hours. So like I was ready for it to be some more, but it was so fun. I was a little nervous, but it honestly went perfectly well. I had so much fun, network, everything. It was so fun playing with other black girls who were good at tennis and the age differences were perfect, but I really enjoyed myself and probably will We'll do it again. They're having another event in September, so I'll probably do that too. But yeah, day two of this working out for a week straight is going pretty good. I'm really excited about what we have for the next few days. complete we just finished our workout at the gym it was so good i tried to do 10 minutes on the stairmaster you guys know like i just have a hard time doing anything past like six minutes on the stairmaster so i tried to set the intentions of getting to 10 but i made it to around nine minutes which is much better than what i normally do do that at a pace four because i feel like if i go any faster then i'll run out of breath but if i go any slower then it'll just make my leg run even more so like i don't know what to do i tried an energy drink to see if maybe i just needed some type of energy enhancement it helped a little it helped me get to nine minutes but i want to be able to get to 10 minutes and do good so that's still a goal of mine but then i did 10 minutes on the treadmill walk majority of it did a little incline for a little bit and then i ran for a little bit of it as well i wanted to make sure that i targeted majority upper body today and did a little bit of legs since i normally work out legs like legs is just so easy for me but i did some upper body today and i feel good about it i just been seeing my muscles come in and that's what's making me start to fall in love with fitness again like even more than when i did this video last time i feel like last time i was really like a pilates girly yoga pilates i still love fitness but i wasn't into like really pushing myself and in ways that I've never been aware of. I'm really having fun. I'm really enjoying it. Because when I was in volleyball and tennis in high school, I had definition, but my mind was in other places, trigger warning, but I struggled with like body dysmorphia and an eating disorder. So my body just was never enough at that time. But now I genuinely believe that I've healed it. And now I'm aware of what I'm doing, where I am, how I feel in it. And now I'm in love with my body right now. And I just love seeing it grow and watching it turn into something that I have intentionally created so I'm just really happy really proud of myself more upper body bigger weights pushing myself until failure with my arms I would do like five pound weights and think I was good but I'm like no I think we need to do a little more I think we need to challenge ourselves a little more and I think we did good but let's move on to day four not sure what I'm gonna do but we're gonna figure it out tonight and we'll see
guys. We are on day four. No, day four. Did I we're on day five. Oh shit, we're on day five. Period. So you're on day five now. I'm super excited. The weather has been so bad these past few days with the weather. It was really good today. So I think it would be a good day to go out for a walk. One thing that I like to do with these seven day challenges is to make it versatile and not just do the same thing every day, but to challenge myself to do other things that's not just the gym, or not just tennis, or not just working out at home, but even getting outside and going for a walk. I don't do that a lot. I am not really an outdoorsy girl, but it looks really pretty outside and it's like 70 something degrees right now. So it's not blazing. So I'm like, today is the day to do something like that. Yeah, so we go get dressed. I just have on these flare leggings from Halara. You guys know how I feel about my flare leggings from Halara. And then I'm just gonna throw on this basic white tee. Basic white tee from H&M. But that soreness body lotion that I put on the other day actually helped a lot. So my muscles aren't as sore. So that means I'm good to go to get moving. I really have to that that helped because I was really, really, really sore. But yeah, my muscles are ready to go again. Aww. Anyways, before I go out, I need to charge my Apple Watch. I should have charged her last night. But I was not thinking. So we're gonna charge her a little bit. But while we wait, I think I'm gonna make me some bloom. I love bloom so much. This makes me feel so healthy and helps bring balance to my body when I feel like I've been having a hard time, you know, doing it myself. Sometimes you eat out or you go out on weekends and you drink, just aren't as balanced as you'd want to be. I feel like this helps bring it all together for you. Just put it in this water bottle with a little bit of water that I have left over. It just saves dishes. But yeah, I've been really proud of myself when it working out and being active. Since the last time I did this challenge, I feel like the mindset that I had around working out has changed a lot. I was still in a pretty good place, but just over time, it just has gotten better. I feel like I'm better at loving my body more, better at being patient with my body. I'm better at knowing when and how to push myself. And I don't know, it's just so interesting for me. Like my mindset is always just like, this is it in this moment. I gotta get it right, right now. But it's like, when I look back at then, I'm like, well, months I've gone by, and you've gotten even better. It's so hard to explain, but I don't know. I'm trying to explain. I'm trying to explain it in a way that makes sense. But I knew that I could be better, but it couldn't really comprehend really, truly that I could be at a place where I am now, where I'm like playing tennis like every two days out of the week, I'm working out. I'm actually been consistent with eating better. And now it's just a habit of mine. It's just who I am now. And that's really exciting. It's just something that I really have thought very long and hard on. I'm just being afraid that I would never happy with where I was but I like doing these challenges because I do them in a way that is fun now and now it's just like so easy who would have thought that I would be able to do it again for the second time knowing that you know I am where I am if you guys have caught up with me you guys will know that I had to move back home and a lot of things have gone on I would just always be afraid that I would lose habits I just got out of my routine like if I trip and came back or having to move having to switch to a different gym and I would just always be so scared that that those things would trigger my old habits coming back. But I'm at a point now where these habits are just me now. It's a lifestyle and that's amazing. That's what I've always preached that to myself is when I was younger, when I was like 19, 18, I would try to do these challenges in such an aggressive way and, and I would expect so much out of them and I would beat myself up if I didn't get extreme result or didn't immediately feel different. But now I'm like, that's not healthy. And I've coached myself to things a lot better, a lot healthier. And now I'm at a place where it's a lifestyle for me. I just drink kombucha now and I just naturally pick up weights and I just naturally get on my yoga mat and work out. It's not something that I have to prepare for. Now when I have the thought to do it, I just can. When I go out to eat, I choose a healthier option. I talk nice to myself. I know my limits. I am not strict on myself. And I'm getting back in tune with my body again. And I don't know, I just feel really good about it. And I feel like as a content creator, I look at myself constantly. And it's nice to know that as time is moving on, I'm feeling better, getting better. Yeah, so. I just wanna encourage you guys to never give up, to just keep pushing, keep trying to learn. Learning is so, so, so important. It's so important. You only grow by learning and being patient. But yeah, just a little fitness health journey rant before we go on this walk. I'm so excited. It just looks so pretty outside today. And also one thing as well that I wanna point out, 
One thing that really helped me on my health slash fitness journey was not being afraid to show myself. And I've seen it on TikTok too, where I saw the TikTok that was like, when my friend asked to go out on the weekend, but I need to lose 20 pounds or something like that. I remember that I used to have that mindset. I always felt that I had to have a specific appearance to be able to be happy in my body and to present myself to the world. And that even though I was on a healthy weight loss journey or whatever, I needed to wait to show my body until I was there. And that was a rabbit hole was a terrible terrible thought process terrible habit because i'm also very spiritual and i've learned manifestation and one thing that i've learned from manifestation is that you have to be happy in the present moment to be happy in the next moment that you're trying to manifest if you aren't grateful for where you are now if you can't find ways to be happy with where you are now you're gonna have a hard time getting to that next place where you'll be happy because you're trying to get to that spot because you think it'll make you happy so if you are unfamiliar with happiness in the present moment you're gonna have a hard time being able able to grasp happiness in that next moment like getting the thing that you're trying to manifest is not gonna make you happy it's a mindset that you have around it that makes you happy and I was like hmm okay <laughs> it's very complicated but I think I explained it well but just being happy with where you are now and embracing it just don't shy away from your body don't shy away from who you are yeah, I don't know. You are literally exactly where you are supposed to be. You are literally beautiful as you are right now in this moment. And if you decide that you do want to be healthier and that you want to be at a better place with your body, then that's amazing. But do it because you want to have a happy functioning body. Don't do it because you hate your body. Just don't do it to please others. The only way that is gonna work is if you are doing it completely, completely for you. Just be nicer to yourself, for real. I'm so serious. Just be nicer to yourself. It's not fully charged but I feel like it's enough to go on a little walk I guess it's at 17% I don't know I just want to get this walk out the way like it's so pretty right now I don't need any rain coming in and fucking ruining the vibe so I'm gonna go ahead and just go on this walk now get out the house get off the internet and get some sun all right let's go busy street so I was a little scared but I did it so that was good but now I'm gonna play some music I made like a 30 minute long playlist so I'm gonna go ahead and play that try to vibe out too crazy but it was nice seeing the scenery the weather was actually so good it's just so pretty out there like the summer is coming to an end so i just want to make sure that i'm enjoying this beautiful weather because i know in florida i could enjoy the weather until december but here sooner or later this weather is definitely going to start declining and i just want to prepare myself for that but just make sure if you do want to go on a walk just make sure that you're choosing somewhere that feel comfortable walking in and you know it's a pretty decently safe area you really should have nothing to worry about so i recommend going on walks girlies like hot girl walk yes i had so much fun and just like that we did 37 minutes we ran 121 calories so i feel like that's pretty decent for a 30 minute walk i feel like that's good so week five is checked off let's see what should i do tomorrow i do miss tennis so i might play tennis and then hit the gym one last time on our last day okay Alrighty. see you guys tomorrow hi welcome to day six Yes, I just had a little dance party, but yay yeah, guys, welcome to day six. We are about to go play tennis. Why I'm excited is because we have to go to Target to grab some tennis balls. So I'm just a little excited about being able to go to Target. <laughs> but I'm also excited because I am gonna take some Oxy Shred. The last day that I had went to the gym, I decided to take that Alani New Energy Drink and it had me up all night, all night. Even when I had drunk it in the morning, I was hoping that it would wear off by the end of the night, but the caffeine in that drink, it's just really bad so we're gonna take oxy shred today all right let's go quarrels i've never dressed me Alrighty, I just dry scooped. Do not recommend, do not try at home, but <laughs> now we are ready for Target. Let's go quarrels. Yeah, you want to see it? 
<laughs> the new Alta is here at Target, you guys. It is so cute. I'm gonna have to come back another vlog. Mid and it says we got a good sweat coming in and going at it for a good while. Looking good, having fun. is complete. I'm so proud of us. Today we did more cardio. Typically I do like five-ish, maybe six, seven-ish, eight-ish minutes on the stair stepper and then maybe 10 minutes on the treadmill. But today I decided to do 30 plus minutes on the treadmill. Did intervals of walking and jogging and sprinting and that felt really good. As you guys saw, I kind of dry screwed my pre-workout. I didn't have any disposable water bottles so I just put water in my mouth and then I put the pre-workout in the water, swished it around and then drank it. So it wasn't like actually dry in my mouth i don't know i don't advise it but sometimes you have to do what you have to do you know what i'm saying <laughs> but today's workout was really good i did some more upper body so that's what we're working on this challenge is just so fun and honestly i'm just so proud of myself for just staying active in whatever way that i possibly could i know last challenge i did pilates and hot yoga i just am not in the position to really be doing pilates and hot yoga right now and that would have deterred me from doing this challenge again but i'm like no i can make it work we're gonna do what we can so you just adapt and that's something that had helped me with my fitness journey is making it work with what you got showing up in ways that you can't if you can't show up as a pilates princess every single day then that's okay you can still find a way to get your workout in so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i feel so confident in my body right now i'm just so happy and just so proud of myself for doing this even outside of the challenge i worked out before this challenge and i'm sure i'm going to continue to work out after this challenge and just the positive mindset that i have right now i'm just so 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 proud of myself and i just love sharing it with you guys but thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.